Good morning guys. Top of the morning to you. I'm over here at my other little bee yard. We got these guys here. Um, I want to check those two end ones here. I brought extra boxes. If they need stacking up, we'll stack them up. I brought feed. Uh, I brought a pan. I'm going to do an alcohol wash to see where we're at. Hopefully, hopefully I don't see a mite. About had all the mites I can stand right up to here. They're about as bad as Nancy. I mean, I've had Nancy and Kamala right to here, okay? So, uh, the, the Varroa and, and those two uh, evil uh, flying witches, I was about sick of it, okay? But hopefully we don't have any Varroa in here. I brought my frames here, our Varroa trapping frames. I brought four of those because I got to put one in each hive down below. I think these are going to work pretty cool. Yeah, we'll give them a shot. We'll leave them in for a month and come back and check them. I'll bring you guys along, see what to, what these things are doing. I think it's going to be a handy tool for us to uh, help control the mites. Alrighty, is the smoker fired up here? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that thing pumping. Oh, there's just seen a bee flying with pollen on its legs. Love the look of that. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. Feeder jar empty. This thing don't seem to be overly abundant with bees up here. Don't look like they've done nothing up here. Is this colony alive? Is this colony alive, Steve-O? Oh, it is alive. Look at that. They're making a little... They're trying to come up here. Isn't that nice? Gotta love that. Yeah, let's put this here. Put this on the ground here. Chewing up this towel here. And it's got, it looks like some, uh, looks like some nectar dripped on it. They're chewing on them a little bit. Not a bad little sheet of brood here. Make sure McQueen ain't on here. Starting to draw it over here a little bit. I guess this would be good as frame as any to check for mites. I don't see no queen. quarter cup here. We'll give it a couple quarter cups. How's that? I'm going to 
to move that frame up. I'm going to slide one frame over. We're going to put this guy in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Because I want, I want solid stuff on each side of it. So we'll move that up to this upper box. There's some debris in there, guys. There's debris in there. But I don't see any mites at all. I see no mites. But what you can do here, what you can do here is put your phone on and put your fine mesh stainless screen here. Drain that. Now there's we got no we got no mites in this colony at all guys. Nope, not a single mite. That's just a little bit of debris. There's no mites. <coughs> hella hella freaking luya guys. Hallelujah. God bless America. All right. I've treated all these colonies equally, but I, what I am going to do, guys, just for giggles, just for giggles, in here, in here, in my magic bucket, I have a magic bucket. In my magic bucket here, guys, I put in a half a gallon of canola oil, 50 milliliters of eucalyptus oil, this pharmaceutical grade, by the way, 50 milliliter tea tree oil, and 50 milliliter of camphor. Stuff smells pretty good. If you get hungry and you're out in the bee yard, guys, you can eat, you can eat one of these towels. Just kidding. Oh uh, yeah, that that material there. I didn't think it suck up. These four rolls, these are these are your blue shop towels cut in half. I didn't think it'd suck up all that material, but it did. There's hardly any residue left in there at all. Yeah, and I'm not on this hive here. I'm not putting a full sheet on these little half hives like we have, all these half hives, we're only going to put a half a sheet on there, okay? All right, what we want to do here, what I want to do with these girls here is, uh, reactivate my smoker here. I'm going to take I'm going to put that frame our new special Barola frame I'm going to put it right here okay I'm going to put that thing right there. I'm leaving out these strips here. They're about toast anyway. All right. Now I'm going to put one of my essential oil towels in here, right there. 
and then I brought some more beetle barns with me some fresh ones I'm gonna put him right there smidgy they're a smidgy testy because it, this is kind of in a shadowed area over here and uh, yeah they're not really uh, happy campers just yet they don't realize that they're in my world right now yeah they're in Steve-O's world they'll get over it soon guys all right so we're going to take this one out in the middle here no we're not we're going to take this one here that they haven't started working on we're going to move these guys over they're starting to work these they're starting to work these and now we're going to take this one see i got a nice little band of honey so they're not starving by any means of course i've been feeding these bees guys now me bringing this brood up here is going to want to make those girls come up in here, see. They're going to want to come up in there. All right. The only thing we lack to do now is put us a jar of feed on them. Just happen to have one. Yeah, these girls are on autopilot now, guys. All righty, let's get into the next one. A few bees up here sneaking around. What are they doing? Anything? They're just starting. See, they're just starting to draw a little, a little comb. Nothing real exciting yet. Those are history as far as I'm concerned. This looks like a pretty fat colony here. They about disintegrated this towel. Alrighty. Alright, what we're going to do here, guys, is come right in here like this. And this is where we're going to put in our Varroa harvest frame. This girl here is laying good. She's got all this egged out. It's a nice pattern. What do you think, guys? Nice pattern on that girl right there. God bless her. God bless her, guys. All righty, let's do this. Let's do this. I think I'm going to love these guys. I really do. 
I, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel the love, aren't you? I'm feeling love. Love is in the air, guys. It is in the air. Let me tell you. Love is in the air. Well, what I need to do here... I need to stack this. Put this on. This thing right here is full of brood. This little... Before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to put this half towel in there. I'm going to put this essential oil towel on the bottom. I think, I got a hunch, guys, that these, these are actually going to knock out tracheal mites also. That's my gut feeling. You know how Steve-O runs on guts. Yes, he does. Okay. What do you think of that, girls? All righty. What we're gonna do here, they didn't done much at all to that. We're gonna move this one over. We're moving this one over and we're gonna put this one right in the center here. This will also help in drawing those bees up and start working that. We'll make them start working this stuff, guys. All right, girls, you're fattening up here. I don't want that. Get back downstairs where you need to be. I don't want you crushed. I'm gonna put a box on here. Get down, get down, get back, get back. Yeah. All righty. Oh, I got a pile of bees over here. I was doing this the other day, guys. And, uh, son of a gun, my queen didn't crawl out. It was over here on the side of the box. The big dummy. And I put the hive back together. And I started to walk away. And then I got the gut feeling, you know? Oh, Steve-O got the gut feeling. I said, what the heck? So I go over, and it was a big gob of bees, and I'm taking my finger, and there she is. So I take the feeder jar off, and all that, and I picked her butt up, and I stuck it in there. I gave her a little spanking. I gave her a little spanking on the way down. Sometimes I, sometimes I do that with Miss Daisy, too. But never spank her hard. She'll get mad at you. All right. I'm gonna put a beetle barn up here. Beetle barn. Alrighty, hive two down. That wasn't too painful, was it, guys? That's not too painful, is it? Let's keep this beekeeping as simple as we can and as fun as we can. What do we got here, guys? This colony looks like it's getting fattened up here. You gotta love that. You gotta love it. That's probably a plugged up beetle barn, so we'll just kick it off of there like that.
we're going to put a fresh rag in here. They're chewing up those oxalic strips. And that, I understand, is a very slow thing. Slow operation. Okay, guys, let's see here. Let's put this lid down. Let's get us a box here. Let's put that there, because we're going to move a frame up. We're going to put our newfangled Barola frame downstairs here. So I need to make room for it. Let's take this outside frame. Always work from your outside, guys. And look at that. That queen there ain't bad, guys. That ain't bad. We're going to stick that right in the center here. We're going to go over here and get us one of our magic magic Varroa frames. thing I'm going to like about these is I'm thinking one month is all you need to let these soak in a hive. Bring your five gallon bucket out here with you when you come to do these. I don't care if there's a little uh, brood in here. I want to make darn sure my queen ain't on here when I'm doing this. I don't care if there's a little worker brood in here, but they're probably going to saturate this with drone brood, I'm thinking. If not, it's coming out anyway. We're going to cut this out. Granted, you're going to lose, if there's, a bro if there's worker brood in there, yeah, you're going to knock it down. But we're also pulling out possible, you know, varroa mites in those cells. So we're constantly... We're going to be constantly uh, knocking the mite situation down. In my professional opinion, for whatever that's worth. I'm, I'm like a doctor. I'm, I'm practicing beekeeping. You know, I don't have it down to a science. I'm practicing, just like these doctors. I'm practicing medicine, you know, how they do. How they kill a million people a year. Okay. Let's not get depressed with that. Little half towel action here, and yes, another beetle barn. Boy, these things can smell good. Hey guys, if your sinuses are plugged up, sniff on one of these. Yeah, sniff on one of them babies. All right, now. These standard hives on a beefy bottom, you can see here there's a little crack. Get it as close as you can. Yeah, that's fine. They, they'll propolis it right up. They'll propolis that sucker right up for you. All righty, let's shove a frame in here. I got a towel in there. I got a beetle barn in there. I can't put my beetle barn up here. There's not enough relief here. There's not enough distance. So it has to go downstairs in a beefy. That's maybe one more reason I like my beefies. You've got that three quarter cut. Here they made it so tight. And you know, everybody says, oh Steve, you're gonna have laddering action like crazy. Oh stop, I don't either have a lot of ladder. You saw me pull these box apart. Maybe I had a little ladder comb in between, but it's no big deal. They don't give a rat's hiney about it, okay? I've asked these girls what they think, and they said, Steve, I'll just chill out. Don't worry about it. So listen to your bees, guys. They'll talk to you, you know. They will. They'll talk to you. 
Did you guys know? Did you guys know? Now scientists have thought this up. I don't know how they did it, but these bees recognize their beekeeper. Is that not wild? They recognize. They can recognize faces. How freaky is that? You gotta love it. And you know, guys. You know, guys, with my face, you gotta just love it, you know? Nancy and Kamala hate it, though. All right. This one, this one is gone. Look at that towel they're pulling out the front here, guys. Look at that batch of towel they're pulling out there. All right, the last hive we got. All righty, what do we got in this one? Yeah. Now see, they built a little ladder here. They did a little ladder action right here, you see? And on that jar. But it's no big deal. They can... They can do that in a heartbeat, guys, those little ladders. They don't have any problem with that. I'll put on a fresh beetle barn there. Now we're gonna do the same thing here, because this is filled. This hive is filled out all the way across. This hive needs expansion big time. And if you don't give it some expansion, yes they're gonna swarm uh-huh they're gonna swarm on you so you can watch money fly away if you like but I don't like that alrighty get my magic frame I ended up with I ended up with 18 of these yesterday I knocked out got 18 and uh, little ugly nail here yeah 18 of these puppies so I've got to do this 18 times today I don't think there's any need I got to go back to base camp I've got those so we'll ins I'll install all those but I don't need I guess I need to bring you along for that because it's going to be just repeat of what you're seeing me doing here today it's just going to be continual so let's get one frame out of here. This bee attitude today isn't bad at all, guys. This is not bad at all. It's going to be up to 87 today. I put out my wax melter. Oh, God, guys. They, she's just... She's just blasting this thing full of eggs. God bless her. God bless her, guys. I'm going to put this guy right up here. I'm putting this one right upstairs here. Yeah. Sure am. That's full. I'm going to set this frame right in here. You know, you need to you need to ID these. Yeah, you need to ID these frames. Now you can spray them. These frames, these roll frames. We just call them drone frames. And uh, so this would be quick, you know, with these thumbtacks here, shiny thumbtack, you open it up, you can go right to it. Because you're going to be coming in here every month and grabbing those out and cutting that wax out of there. All righty, guys. God bless you for coming by to old Steve-O's world. And I'll see you soon on the next one. I still love you.
Be happy. Be strong. We got to keep getting her on. See ya.